You've heard of cheese boards, charcuterie boards, and even butter boards, but how about a polenta board? Creamy rich polenta is poured on a surface and served with a variety of flavorful toppings for everyone to share. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, our celebration is all about polenta, but probably not what you're thinking. We're going to make a polenta board. So what is a polenta board? You've heard of cheese board, charcuterie boards. You've probably even heard of the newest trend, a butter board. We're going to do the same thing, but using polenta. And this is a fun, dramatic way to serve rich, creamy polenta that has all your favorite toppings on it. And those toppings are limited to just your imagination, so you can never have the same one twice. Let's get started. Our polenta board starts with polenta. Now, in my pan here, I have 24 ounces or 700 mils of chicken stock that I'm brought to a boil. You can use vegetable stock if you prefer. I have another eight ounces of stock reserved, and I'm going to combine that with eight ounces or 170 grams of yellow cornmeal. Now, this is the cornmeal that I get. Sometimes it's a little coarser ground and it will say for polenta. I prefer this finer ground. It cooks a little faster and more evenly, I find. So we're going to combine this. And we're gonna whisk it to create a slurry. Just that fast. All right, let's remove this. And this is bubbling away nicely. Now we're going to slowly add the slurry to the boiling stock, whisking constantly. All right. All right, just like that. This is going to help it not clump up and stay smooth. Now, hold this steady. We're gonna bring this back to the boil and we're gonna stir frequently. You wanna just let it cook until it's thickened. It's four, six minutes maybe. Here we are, nice and thick. I'm gonna reduce the heat to low. Now we're gonna add some more flavorings. I'm gonna start with a tablespoon of butter, right in, to make it help with that richness. Half and half is next. I have two ounces or 60 mils of half and half. Again, more richness, creaminess, back to my whisk to get this all incorporated. Mm, looking good. Now that butter and the cream may thin this out for a moment, but it will tighten right back up. Beautiful. Now, next, we're gonna add some cheese. I have here, believe it or not, this is two ounces or 56 grams of grated Parmesan cheese that I grated on my microplaner. Now, you can use a food processor. I prefer the microplaner because it gets nice and finely grated. It's gonna help it melt into this cheese, into this polenta rather. So I'm gonna start adding. I may not use all of this depending on how thick this turns because this is also going to help thicken it up. So we'll put a good amount in maybe three quarters of it, and give it a stir. You want rich in cheese and flavor. Now you've noticed I've not added any salt and pepper yet. And the reason is my chicken stock had some salt in it, and certainly this cheese has salt. This is beautiful, nice and thick, but let's be a devil and just put it all in anyway. There we go. Now 
All right, I'm gonna give this a little taste for seasoning. I'm gonna cut the heat. Let's take a little taste. Hmm, that's pretty good. Need some pepper. You could use white pepper if you like, but I don't mind the little black and red specks in it. All right, now we're ready to assemble our board. All right, we're ready to assemble our polenta board. Now today I am using a pizza peel. This is just some fun way. Uh, we'll leave you a link to get one. They're not expensive at all and it's great fun. But if you don't have one and you wanna make this right away, you can use a cutting board. You could use a long clean table like this. You could use just a big platter. It's all good. So what I'm going to do now, our planta has just been kind of sitting and resting and setting up a bit, but it's still liquid. I'm just gonna pour it out onto the board, just like this. Depending on the size of your board, you want to get all of it. Okay. Now, I'm going to smooth this out just a little and really kind of cover the board. Not only get too close to the edges, I don't want it to run off, but I want to create a little, maybe a little indent for my toppings. There we go. Now this is already, it's setting up along the edges, so that's going to hold everything in. Now let's talk toppings. Traditionally, this is served with a ragu of some kind. Uh, today, I'm doing two of my favorites. I have some sauteed vegetables. I have eggplant and zucchini, red onions, garlic, kind of like a ratatouille. But you can use whatever you want. Now I'm gonna put some here. And I'm gonna put some right here. And look at those colors, that, those red onions on there. And that green against the yellow cornmeal. It's beautiful. Now this is great for a first course, or if you do a giant one, uh, you can do it as a main event and then everyone just serves themselves from it. Next, I have some little meatballs in some spaghetti sauce. And we're gonna nestle some of those right here. And look at the colors, the red against the yellow. How dramatic. Oop. You notice nothing spilling out. And this is again, one of those you can be artful, you can be messy, you can be artfully messy, as I always say. So that's looking pretty good, but I think we need just a little bit more. How about some cheese? Here's my Parmesan I used earlier, and this is my microplaner. And we're just going to make it snow. Beautiful. So here we are, it's all nice and cheesy and it's still warm. Now you can finish this up. You could have some nice crusty bread, like a nice ciabatta bread with it. You could use any type of crusty bread, uh, other vegetables, crackers, anything. Let's sneak a little taste though, because this smells so, so good. Hmm. I'm gonna kind of sneak some from in here. No one will notice. I'll cover it up. Mmm. Wow. That polenta is super, super creamy. You get a little saltiness from the cheese. Having the tomato sauce mixed in, beautiful. Let's try a little bit with this vegetables. Mmm. Delicious. It's fresh, it's creamy, it's rich, and it's wonderful. Now, you know what's next.
Mm. As always, we will see you on Tuesdays for our regular episodes, Fridays for basic skills or cocktail Fridays, and every other Sunday for our live streams. Now, while Phil and I go devour this as part of our dinner, I want you to watch some of these episodes over here. So until next time, everyone, cheers. <laughs>